greatest innovators. So today we're doing an artist palette and the paints we'll be using is tan, brown, yellow, purple, blue, white, black, green, and red. We're going to start by painting the artist palette with the tan and a little bit of brown to bring in some shadows and then start doing the paints in the inside. We'll do the paintbrush and then the background will be the last part which is in black. Okay, so let's begin with the artist palette. Okay, so with your thin brush, dip it in the tan paint. We're gonna make a dot right about, say this is halfway, it's so a little bit higher. And that's your corner, about an inch higher. And then we're gonna do a curve line and connect. So let's curve it and connect. Okay. So the artist palette also has a little curve right here. And then we have a little hole where your finger goes in. Now we're going to do the little paint splashes of paint there, okay? So let's start with one, do an irregular shape. There's one, another one over here. Two, we're gonna do five of them. Three. Four. And one more, five. Okay, so let's start by painting the artist palette. Get your other brush a little bit bigger and fill it in with your tan paint. Make sure you leave those spots for the color that goes inside. You can do a nice and brushy, it doesn't have to be a perfect stroke. Just fill it in. Trying to add a little texture. Just make sure you cover your white spots in between. So now that I'm done with this, make sure that it, the paint is still a little wet because I'm going to add some of the brown, especially right here at the top and around this curve, I'm going to add some of the dark brown. So dip your brush into the dark brown and then just make a line and blend it into the tan. just on the edges like this. Get a little bit of brown, not too much. And then let's go around right here with some brown a 
Okay, so now we can clean the brush and we're going to use the little brush again. And with that, we're going to start with the colors. Okay, so we're going to start painting red, then blue, green, yellow, and purple. Okay, so let's start with the red paint. Get your thin brush and let's start painting. Okay, dip into the red paint, your thin brush. What I like to do first is I like to trace it. Trace around all these lines. And you're just going to dab it on there because you want it to look like a lot of texture. Like there's a lot of paint on there. Just fill it in with a lot of paint. Okay, then you clean your brush. And then the next color is blue. Same thing, let's trace it. And fill it in. Dab it. So you can get a lot of paint on there. Then clean your brush again and dry it. The next color is green. Trace it again. And then fill it in with green and dab it in. Clean your brush. The next color I'm going to use is yellow. Let's get some yellow paint. I'm going to trace this middle one with yellow. Then fill it in, dab it in. Then clean your brush. And the last paint is purple. Let's trace it and fill it in. Okay, great. We need to let that dry a little bit. 